Hello everybody, welcome back. I am diving back in to Star Trek. Still have a little bit of a lost voice. So again, I'm sorry. I saw one comment that was like, I hope it stays. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> Anyways, so I, this is our third TNG movie. I loved the second one. I liked the first one, loved the second one. I heard mixed reviews on the third, but I'm going in with an open mind, a positive attitude. I'm looking forward to see what they do. I couldn't believe how good the music and effects and like, just like the sets looked um, on the last one. And so I think it's cool that you can see the technology improving, the budget improving, Improving. You guys know I just uh, love these guys. Last we left, we were still on Enterprise E, I think. Let's hopefully stay on that one. In First Contact, they also had these awesome side characters that they added who uh, added so much to the story. So I'm wondering if they're gonna do that in this one. Anyways, I'm excited. Let's get to it. Remember, if you want to check out my Patreon, vote on polls. We're gonna have a Christmas poll going on. We have a Cassie's Picks poll right now. Here's Patreon, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell. Carly and I started a podcast called Popcorn To Go. New episodes come on Patreon on Sunday and everywhere else on Tuesday that you can, you can listen to them. Um, Movies and Milestones is our latest episode, so go check it out. Okay, let's go. Engage. Settling in. Jonathan Frakes film. It's loud. So loud. So, so loud. I kind of liked it. Where are we here? Kind of looks like Picard's hometown, maybe? Mm, no. Those don't look like Frakes. Well, this just seems like a happy, peaceful village or community. Bonjour. Bonjour. Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. There goes the baker. This is what it reminds me of, the opening. Seriously, it's like paradise. Please report to Area 7 and assist the Itophology team. Admiral Dougherty's waiting for this. Transmit it to the ship. Alert! Area 12! What? The android! He's out of control! Magnify. Those are kids. Base to Commander Data. Rerouting microhydraulic power distribution. Data, report to base immediately. What? Data? Engaging secondary protocol. He's trying to remove the headpiece. All field units, intercept the android. They're invisible? Now, back to your home! I repeat, stand down! Has Data gone rogue? Who are they? Okay. There she blows. Eugene Chefall. Emphasis on the chin and the fall. You either need a new uniform or a new neck. Well, size is exactly as it was at the Academy. <laughs> Our guests have arrived. They are eating the floral arrangements on the banquet tables. I guess they don't believe in cocktails before dinner. Bridge to Captain Picard. Go ahead, Ensign. To know our ETA at the Gorn system. The Gorn system? They need us to mediate some territorial dispute. The diplomatic corps is busy with Dominion negotiations. Oh, yeah, so they need us to put out one more brush fire. Why is Dita not with mm -hmm. them? Captain on deck! <gasps> You'll be expected to dance with Regent Cusar. Oh, no. Very funny. Jordy, the captain would like you to come up here. Tell him we've received a communique from Admiral Dougherty. It's about data. Sheen Chefor, Regent Cusar, welcome aboard the Enterprise. Captain Picard, I welcome you in the time-honored tradition of my people. We are so honored to be accepted within the Great Federation family. We have a dance later, I believe. I look forward to it. My speed work. Captain, excuse me. Captain. He's so still not used to it. It's a part of Zona ship in Sector 441. He's requesting data schematics. Is something wrong? Data should have been back by now. They were only scheduled to observe the Baku village for one week. Here, did you ever have a chance to read my paper on thermionic transconductance? Would you excuse me? 
Now he's holding our people hostage. Well, the Enterprise could be at your position in two days, Admiral. Probably not a good idea. Your ship hasn't been fitted for this region. There are environmental concerns. Just get me data schematics. I'll keep you informed. Dowerty out. Dowerty out. I'm going to ask Worf to delay his return to DS9 so that he can join us. Yeah. I never should have let you talk me into that duck blind in the first place. Your Federation procedures have made this mission ten times as difficult as it needs to be. We're in place to protect the planet's population from unnecessary risk. Don't like that. Your self-restraint puzzles me, Admiral. You continue to deny yourself every benefit this mission has to offer. I prefer to wait until we can share the benefits with all the people of the Federation. Do we like Admiral Dowtry? So to understand how it comes through the... That's our ship. I've downloaded all the files on the Duck Blind mission and the sonar. Two days to become experts. Mr. Wolf, our job is to come up with a plan to safely capture data. I've already had Commander LaForge modify this tricorder with one of Data's actuation servo. It will shut him down. Good to have you back, Mr. Wolf. So to one third. We take us in. He seems happy this movie. Doesn't he always has a little smile? The Sona are known to have produced mass quantities of the narcotic Ketracel White. Their ships are rumored to be equipped with isolated subspace weapons outlawed by the Second Kittimer Accord. How would we be involved with these people? Good question. Did I miss something? You haven't done that in a long time. What? What you're doing to my neck. Did I miss something? Wolf! Captain. I don't know how they do it on Deep Space Nine, but on the Enterprise, we still report for duty. Oh. I'm on my way. We'll skip the court martial this time. When was the last time we aligned the torque sensors? The torque sensors are out of alignment. By 12 microns, you could hear that. When I was an ensign, I could detect a three micron misalignment. Captain, I wasn't expecting you. This is too important for the Enterprise to be on the sideline. Commander Data attacked us in the mission scout ship. Worf and I have decided to send in an assault team. Commander Worf and I are working on several tactical plans. Your android has turned dangerously violent. Terrible damage was done to my ship. Be destroyed. I know what Data means to Starfleet. Crews at the mercy of those people on the planet. What? If our first attempt to capture Data fails, I will terminate him. Something, I, something's off. Data would not just go rogue like that. Come out, come out wherever you are. Sir, that's something that my mother... Data, this is Captain Picard. Data, please respond. Oh, he's still shooting. Data! Directive, he's resetting his shield harmonics. Beam him out. He has activated a transport inhibitor. We use the ionospheric boundary to shake him. Okay, maybe something is wrong with Data. He would never shoot Captain Picard. Clearly his brain is functioning. I wonder how he would respond. Do you know Gilbert and Sullivan? No, sir. I have not had a chance to meet all the new crew members since I have been back. They're composers, Wolf. From the 19th century. Data was rehearsing a production of HMS Pinafore just before he left. A British tar is a soaring soul. <laughs> His energetic fist should be ready to resist. Tutorial word. Sing, Wolf, sing. Should curl. His cheeks should flame. And his brow should furl. And his fist be ever ready for a knockdown blow. His nose should pant. And, and his, his lips lip should, should curl. curl. His cheek should flame. <laughs> Initial coupling is exceeding tolerance. If you do not release him, he may destroy both vessels. Sing, sing again. Engaging stabilizers. Deadly field established. Oh, Worf doesn't like this. Worf gets. Okay. Captain, Commander Data is safely in custody. Phew. A team. <laughs> Captain, Summit Argolis in Sona Command. Lieutenant Curtis, attaché to Admiral Dowerty. We've been treated extremely well. These are my officers, Dr. Crusher, Counselor Troy. We are here to rescue them. You wish, but I would ask you to disarm yourself. This village is a sanctuary of life. Where are the hostages for transport to the ship? They should be quarantined before joining the ship's population. Paradise. We were under the impression they were being held against their will. The artificial life form would not allow them to leave. In fact, he told us they were our enemies and that more would follow. Are you our enemy? Anish. My people have a strict policy of non-interference in other cultures. It's our prime directive. 
Then why is Admiral Daughtry all up in their business? The artificial life form is a member of my crew, apparently. Our technological abilities are not apparent because we have chosen not to employ them in our daily lives. We believe that when you create a machine to do the work of a man, you take something away from the man. But at one time we explored the galaxy just as you do. You have warp capability. Capability, yes. But where can warp drive take us except away from here? I apologize for our intrusion. Because they have warp capability, the consequences to their society. You've done a terrific job, Son Luke. Now pack your bags and get the hell out of there. I'll need all your paperwork tomorrow. We are heading back your way. Set a course to rendezvous with us. There's something fishy, guys. You're not finished here? Uh, just a few loose ends to tie up. So the guys with the stretched faces, the Sonia, they're the ones that conquered two other people and use someone as, I don't know. Can't figure out who those facelift guys are. So do I lie down or what? Um, well, whatever makes you comfortable. Why don't you try lying down? You're in quite a mood today. You really need counseling or did you come down here to play? I'm having a midlife crisis. What's happening, guys? I thought she liked Worf. I think it's possible for two people to go back in time, fix a mistake they've made. In this ship, anything's possible. Yuck. Yuck? Yuck? I never kissed you with a beard before. What's going on? Why would they fire on him without provocation? All I know is that he was functioning normally until he was shot. His ethical and moral subroutines took over all of his basic functions. And he still knew the difference between right and wrong. In a sense, that's all he knew. Then why was he shooting at Picard? He looks boring. I seem to be missing several memory engrams. Data, what's the last thing that you remember? No, should pan, tennis lip, should curl. Um. <laughs> My last memory is going into the hills following some children. Remember where you were on the day of lightning when the artificial life form appeared to us? In the hills by the dam. They didn't leave. Picard, he likes an investigation. The boy is afraid of me. You have to remember, these people have rejected technology and the personification of everything they have rejected. Bridge to Riker. Can I get back to you, Mr. Worf? Admiral Doherty is on the comm link. Yes, Admiral. Why haven't you left orbit? He didn't want to leave until we could adequately explain why data malfunctioned. Mind the captain, his 12 hours are up. There appear to be strong neutrino emissions coming from the lake. <laughs> Can he breathe underwater? Data doesn't breathe. Tony Rush? No. See, also with these, with the new technology and the new budget of the movie, I feel like Data's what he, what we can see him accomplish is way more. I believe I know what is causing the neutrino emission. This looks like Alberta. Something fishy. Very fishy, pun intended. We're not interested in such things. I am. Are they married? What? There's it a is a holographic tech. projection. Incomplete, I might add. What you're seeing is a computer-driven image created by photons and force fields. I know what a hologram is, Captain. The question is, why would anyone want to create one of our village? Data, if you were following the children and discovered this ship, why would they duplicate this village except to deceive the Baku? You go to sleep one night in the village, wake up the next morning on this flying holodeck, transported en masse. Why would the Federation or the Sona wish to move the Baku? I don't know. She does. <sighs> that was quite the fall. Okay, 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 okay. Decloak the vessel. Whoa. I can't okay, I'm gonna ask again. Is she married? Be In the event of a water landing, I have been designed to serve as a flotation device. Did the hostages oh. mention anything about a cloaked ship during their debriefing? No, sir. Have you been in a fight, Mr. Wolf? No, sir. It is a gorge. A gorge? Oh, well, it's, uh, it's hardly noticeable. <laughs> no beard, right? Smooth Riker. as an android's bottom, eh, Data? Admiral Dowardy wants to know why we haven't left yet. We're not going anywhere. Riker without a beard, whoa! Klingons never do anything small, do you? Dr. Crusher asked to speak to you when you returned. The Sona hostages declined to be examined. And our people? They're fine. In fact, they're better than fine. Priest metabolism, improved muscle tone, high energy. Should all be so lucky. Very well, Doctor. The card out. There's something on the planet that gives them, like, better health. Mm. Mm. That's 
more like it. Excuse? How old are you? We came here from a solar system on the verge of self-annihilation, where technology had created weapons that threatened to destroy all life. A small group of us set off to find a new home, a home that would be isolated from the threats of other worlds. That was 309 years ago. And you haven't aged a day since then. Actually, I was a good deal older when we arrived. Continuously regenerates our genetic structure. I suppose you're 75. No, I'm 12. <laughs> I'm afraid that's the reason that someone may be trying to take your world away from you. Clearly, the architects of this conspiracy want to keep it a secret, not only from you, but from my people as well. That's the thing. Is Admiral Akbar, or whatever his name, acting alone or on? Does the Federation know about this? Most of my people who live that fast a life would sell their souls to slow it down. But not you. She's very, very hot. There are days. <laughs> there are many more people like me. I wouldn't be tempted by the promise of perpetual youth. I don't think so. You give me more credit than I deserve. Well, of course I'm tempted. Who wouldn't be? But some of the darkest chapters history of my world involved the forced relocation of a small group of people to satisfy the demands of a large one. This is extraordinary craftsmanship. It's the work of students. They're almost ready to become apprentices. 30 or 40 years, some of them will take their place among the artisans. Apprenticing for 30 years. <gasps> Just because you can. Did your people's mental discipline develop here? More questions. Always the explorer. If you stay long enough, that'll change. Will it? You stop reviewing what happened yesterday. Stop planning for tomorrow. Have you ever experienced a perfect moment in time? Time seemed to stop, then you could almost live in that moment. Seeing my home planet from space for the first time. Exactly. Nothing more complicated than perception. We've discovered that a single moment in time be a universe in itself, full of powerful forces. Most people aren't aware enough of the now. I think he likes her. There's one thing I don't understand. In 300 years, you never learned to swim. <laughs> Just haven't got around to it yet. I wonder if you're aware of the trust you engender. Jean-Luc Picard. Oh, he is. In my experience, it's unusual for... For an offlander. For someone so young. We all trust him with our lives. <gasps> she was going to invite me. As it turns out, there wasn't anything wrong with my implants at all. There was something right. My eyes. When Dr. Crusher removed the ocular connection, she found that the cells around my optic nerve had... Started to regenerate. It may not last. If it doesn't, I just... I just want it before we go. You know I've never seen a sunrise. Not the way you see them. Wait, is that why Riker and Troy are acting all giddy and stuff? Oh, I wanted it to be real. It still could be real. Right? Oh. Am I to understand that you're not releasing my men? We found the hollow ship. Rawful, why don't you let the captain and me? No! Entire mission has been one Federation blunder after another. You will return, my men, or this alliance will end with the destruction of your ship. You're looking well, Jean-Luc. I will take this to the Federation Council. I'm acting on orders from the Federation. How can there be an order to abandon the Prime Directive? People are not indigenous to this planet. We'll simply be restoring them to their natural evolution. Who the hell are we to determine the next course of evolution for this people? Jean-Luc, we'll be able to use the regenerative properties of this radiation to help billions. The Sona have developed a procedure to collect the metaphasic particles. Planet in Federation space. That's right. We have the planet, they have the technology. A technology we can't duplicate that makes us. Partners. Or partners are nothing more than petty thugs. Petty thugs. <laughs> Find any other way to do this. Then the sonar can establish a separate colony on the planet until we do. They don't want to live in the middle of the briar patch. Who would? The Baku. We are betraying the principles upon which the Federation was founded. Prime Directive. We're only moving 600 people. How many people does it take, Admiral, before it becomes wrong? Great question. How many people does it take, Admiral? I'm ordering you to the Goran system. I'm also ordering the release of the Sona officers. We need to call the president of the Federation. The righteous Starfleet captain finally released you. Are there any problems on the surface? No, sir. Just don't forget what they did to us. We needn't bother with a Federation hollow ship anymore. Just get the holding cells ready. Yes, sir. What? Oh, dang. 
that a leather jacket? Okay. Transporter is rarely used after 0200 hours. It's like you're planning on doing some hunting. Return to your quarters. No uniform, no orders. How could I look at another sunrise knowing what my sight cost these people? Environmental anomalies may have stimulated certain rebellious instincts common to youth. What do you think we should do? Saddle up. Lock and load. <laughs> Lock and load. Data. Our job is to keep the planet inhabited. It's too easy to turn a blind eye to the suffering of a people you don't know. We'll hold out as long as we can. We sure we should have sent some fighters? Prize left orbit. One of their support craft went down to the surface. Appeared to be the captain's yacht. Five persons on board. Take the shuttles and get everyone off the surface tonight. Take only what you need. Bring food. It is a transport inhibitor. It will help prevent spaceships from beaming anyone off the surface. These veins of Kelvinite running through the hills will interfere with their transporters. And when the terrain forces us away from the deposit, then we'll use transport inhibitors as a compensation. Once there, it'll make transport virtually impossible. There are caves in those. They're not going to make it easy for us to get there. Not to mention, they're not planning on transporting them. Let's move these people out! I think they're planning on capturing them and killing them. The transporters are not functioning. Oh, they are. They will we'll trans to them transport them out. Okay, that was too easy. Are those people that fell in the lake okay? Oh my gosh. This is terrible. Recommendations. Take me down, let me talk to Picard. We should send down an assault team and take them by force. That is not an option. Federation procedures, Federation rule. Look in the mirror, Admiral. The Federation is old. They all smell the scent of death on the Federation. Oh, you've embraced our offer because it will give your dear Federation new life. Well, how badly do you want it, Admiral? Because there are hard choices to be made. The Enterprise gets through with news about their brave captain's valiant struggle. Your Federation politicians will waver. Card's first officer. Do you really believe he'll listen? My ships are capable of intercepting the Enterprise before it reaches the perimeter. I could send them to, to escort it back, but Commander Riker might not want to come. Yeah, because we're rebelling! Anarchy! Send your ships. He's like Moses. Okay, see, guys? I have him on way too high of a pedestal. <laughs> He can do no wrong. I gotta bring him down a few notches. Do you find it difficult to adapt? Adapt? A child's specifications are never the same from one moment to the next. It's a wonder you do not trip over your own feet. Sometimes I do. My legs are exactly 87.2 centimeters in length. My operation depends on specifications that do not change. But you've never had adults telling you what to do all the time or bedtime. Mm -hmm. Gladly accept the requirement of a bedtime in exchange for knowing what it is like to be a child. Haven't you ever just played for fun? Oh, like use their imaginations. Accelerated hair growth is often experienced by Klingons during Jokthalot. Roughly translated, puberty. Although for a Klingon that scarcely does it justice. <gasps> That's why he had... According to the geoscan, this is the safest area within the next few kilometers. It's been 300 years since I've seen a bald man. How is it that you never married? And don't tell me it's just because you haven't got around to it yet. What's the rush? I should warn you, I've always been attracted to older women. <laughs> OMG, 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 OMG. No more questions. Time is standing still. Okay, make out already. Full impulse. Manifolds can't handle full impulse in the patch, Commander. The manifolds will be the only thing left on the ship. All hands, battle stations! Have you noticed how your boobs have started to firm up? Not that we care about such things in this day and age. Thank you, Data. <laughs> I have an odd craving for the blood of a live Kolar beast. And have you noticed how your boobs have started to firm up? <laughs> Get cover! <laughs> Please don't tell me those are going to attach to them. They're like mini transformers. Oh. oh 
Oh, now we're back in this battle. What's inside that nebula cluster? Cometary debris. We don't want to go in there, sir. Yes, we do. I'll take it from here, Ensign. Time to use the briar patch the way Br'er Rabbit did. Winnie the Pooh? Reference? Nice, Riker. Definitely feeling aggressive tendencies, sir. <laughs> Warp going through puberty right now. We're pulling it like a zipper across space. Detonating the warp core might neutralize the cascade. Then again, it might not. Impact in 15 seconds. Eject the core. I just did. Detonate. I think that works. <gasps> oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, we don't have the doctor on board. The terror has been sealed. We're through running from these bastards. Turn around and lock and load. Another 43 reported taken, sir. Oh my gosh. Captain, I can't even believe how messed up this is. Their drones can tag us. Tracking the water's course may reveal another exit. Mr. Wolf, come with us. No, don't leave them. There's going to be a discovery. Get everybody into those caves and set up force fields once they're inside. Aye, sir. Jordy, are those pockets of Metreon gas? I want to use the ram scoop to collect as much of it as we can. I intend to shove it down to Sona's throat. You'd be surprised if history remembers this as the Riker maneuver. Computer, access manual steering column. That's cool. The ram scoop. Stand by, full thrusters. Ram scoop, here we go. On the way. The Riker maneuver. Oh, she's got a little baby. They found caves on higher ground. Oh no. His DNA profile. How can that be possible? Maybe we should ask them. I want to stay with you. It's safer there. Go. <gasps> Did she do the time stopping thingy? Anish. We are trying to get to you, sir. Anish. Oh no. Anish is hurt. How bad is she, Captain? I'm losing her. Stay with me. <sighs> is it safe to oh. Safer than leaving her here. Mm. Pressure. Sorry, you have to see this. Okay, what did they find on the sonar's DNA? Rebellion! <laughs> oh no. Order them to surrender, and I promise you won't be court-martialed. Court-martial is the only way to let the people of the Federation know what is happening here. I welcome it. The Enterprise has destroyed one of my ships. I like three. The Enterprise would only fire to defend itself. I wonder which of us will be facing that court-martial. There's nothing further to be gained from this. I'm going to launch the injector. You're not... In six hours, every living thing in this system will be dead. Would kill your own people, Roafo. Your own parents, brothers, sisters. Didn't you know, Admiral, the Sonar and the Baku were the same race? Our DNA is identical. What is... what? A century ago, a group of our young people wanted to follow the ways of the Offlander. They tried to take over the colony, and when they failed... When we failed, you exiled us to die slowly. There's something in the voice. Would you be his friend, Golna? I helped your mother bathe you when you were a child. She still speaks of you. The Federation into the middle of a blood feud, Admiral. Children have returned to expel their elders, just as they were once expelled. The Ruafo's need for revenge has now escalated into parasite. All for the Federation. So the children went to go live as offlanders, and then their skin started. This mission is over. <laughs> Oh, I actually feel bad for the Admiral now. Federation will pursue you on a Federation. We'll never know what happened here. What's he doing? Oh, what? Admiral Dowdy will not be joining us for dinner. Deploy the Collector. Will 
Killing them is one thing. Killing them all. No one hated them more than you. This is the moment we've planned for so many years. Shields in that section won't protect them against the thermolytic reaction. Thank you for reminding me. Okay, Dr. Evil. Still don't totally understand what the science is behind this. For you, when you were a hostage, surrounded by all the friends and family you knew all those years ago. That's what they meant. Coward without the moral courage to prevent an atrocity. That's how a Federation officer pleads for his life. He's pleading for theirs, you dummy. I'm pleading for yours. You can still go home. Close turbo lift doors. You know how to disable the injector. But I would need to be on the bridge. The crew is loyal to Ruotho. An assault would fail. Perhaps we can lure him away. As soon as he realizes something's happening, he'll override my commands with one word to his comlink. Doesn't realize something's happening. We got a plan. We got a heist. On screen. What person aboard? It's the android. <laughs> Is this Go just ahead, a distraction? Dana. Captain, they're ignoring my attack. Firing tachyon burst into the shield grid. Separation in one minute. Sir, the Federation ship is creating a disruption. If they go out of phase, it will increase our exposure to the thermolytic reaction. Destroy that ship. Reset our shield harmonics. Not delay the countdown. This guy is a madman. They are rotating their shield harmonics. The Federation ship has been disabled. Separation in 20 seconds. What is that? I don't know. Systems don't seem affected. Five seconds. Okay. Now's our time, guys. Chapter assembly has separated. I'm not showing any change in metaphasic flux levels. Scanners must be malfunctioning. All ship functions are offline. Ship functions if the view screen is working. Life support is. What? A holodeck. How did they do that? How'd they get the how'd they get them all in there? We were transported to the hollow ship when we reset our oh. shields. Injector assembly one has been deactivated. <laughs> Mr. Wolf, destroy that thing. Aye, sir. Weapon systems have been taken offline. Captain, there is a problem aboard the collector. Our <laughs> sequence has resumed. Collector shields have been raised. Someone's on board. It's Ruafo. You override the launch sequence from here. Not without his access code. Is there a self-destruct? Without the codes, it would have to be activated at the upper control matrix. Find some way to beam through those shields. You'd have to detonate it manually. We may be able to transport Wait, between the shield generators if we are within 100 meters. Remain as your post, Commander. I'll need you to beam me back. We're approaching the collector. Within two seconds? Order alert. In Stuck. Where's yours? Bigger gun. Oh no, he's not gonna be able to beam him back. Number one, we're approaching your position. Do you need assistance? Uh, yes. Separation in one minute. It's Rafo's ship. On screen. Rafo's even on there. Target their ventral engines and life support. Set a collision course. What? Rafo, we're getting too old for this. After today, that won't be a problem for either of us. Separation in 30 seconds. You're really going to risk igniting the exhaust? I will. No! Oh boy. He's got quite the scream. He wouldn't. He would. Now! Wait, we gotta get the Baku though. Oh no. Stand by, oh Captain. no. We're right around the corner. Time's up. Do it again. Do your no. Beam, 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 baby, beam. Beam me up, Scotty. Inform you that the Baku relocation will be halted while they conduct a top level review. You think? What a crew would like to negotiate a ceasefire may have something to do with the fact that we have three minutes of air left. We have plenty over here, Mr. Wolf. Prepare to beam aboard. <sighs> I think when we get away from this metaphasic radiation, it'll change the way we feel. Your feelings about her have not changed since the day I met you, Commander. This place just let them out for a little fresh air. I wish there were a way to bring them back home. Possibly. There's too much bitterness on both sides. 
mother and son. You arranged this? I thought it might begin the healing process. What am I going to do without you? I wish I could stay, but these are perilous times for the Federation. I have to go back. If only to slow things down at the Federation Council. But I have 318 days of shore leave coming, and I intend to use them. Oh my gosh! They hate kissing on Star Trek. They're playing. <laughs> I have to go home now. Bye. Bye. <laughs> That's such a kid thing. Bye. I hope we'll see you again. Don't forget, you have to have a little fun every day. Good advice. <laughs> Picard to Enterprise, seven to beam up. These are the voyages. The starship music is good. Okay, I am pleasantly surprised. Another really fun movie. It almost felt like a really long episode of Next Generation, which I'm not mad about. It was fun to see the characters go back to their younger selves. At first I was like, why are they acting like this? This is a little bit not like them. But then you realize why and that part was fun. Like, Picard doing the Mamba? Are you kidding? <laughs> the, okay, it wasn't as like intense as First Contact because the enemy wasn't as intense as the Borg. Who could ever be? So it, it wasn't like as adrenaline pumping, but like I said, it was fun, it was enjoyable. I There were some great moments. They did the comedy part of it well in this, like these little smirks or, you know, without being like overly cheesy, I thought they did that well. I, I think I was going in thinking it was gonna be such a downer from First Contact, but I didn't feel like that. If First Contact was a 10 out of 10, then this for me is like a seven and a half. So not bad at all for a third movie. I don't know if they could do any wrong at this point <laughs> because I just, the reason it almost felt like an episode is because like, you know, there was a beginning and then plot and then everything ended happy. So I obviously don't mind that either. I definitely did not understand some of the science behind, like I still don't get how they put them in the holodeck because would they have to be a, have been transported them there? And they would have felt that because the whole way they were gonna get the Baku to go into the holodeck like while they were sleeping and then transport them or something. I don't know. That might've been a little bit of a stretch for me, but I don't even care. <laughs> okay, so another fun movie night. Thank you guys so much for joining me. One more. One more. I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready. Okay, bye.